Hey everyone, Ray Solville, RaySolville.com. In today's video, we are going to be going through UTM tagging and how to set them up for your digital marketing campaigns. This will be a relatively early beginner's guide and how to start measuring your traffic to understand where your traffic is coming from. If that's the type of video you're looking for, please stick around or follow the chapters down below to get to where you want to go. As digital marketers, we typically want to understand where our traffic is coming from and how to measure it. Well, UTM tagging is the way to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is jump into Google analytics to fully understand what reporting to look at to understand what the final output looks like. So right now I'm in Google Analytics for my website and you're going to want to head over to the acquisition, all traffic and source medium report. And what you'll notice, you'll have several different types of traffic. You're going to notice that I have organic traffic, which is Google organic. I've got some direct traffic, some test and some YouTube traffic. Now, the first piece that we're looking at here is the source. And the second piece we are looking at here is the medium. This is how Google Analytics identifies your traffic. And if you want to start setting up different tagging within Google Analytics, you'll be able to determine in, this is how I want Google to identify and classify this traffic. For example, if you are running a Facebook ads campaign, you would likely have different UTM tagging set up for Facebook as the source, CPC as the medium, and then perhaps a campaign for the different types of campaigns that you're running. If that's a little bit confusing, don't worry. I'm going to walk through an example here in a few moments to show you exactly how to set that up. But I'm just kind of going through different examples so you can kind of understand the basics. So going to go through different things that Google Analytics looks for, and I just have Google Docs pulled up right now. So different things that they look for are UTM source. So a UTM source might be things like Google, Bing, um, email, or MailChimp, or, or different things like that. The medium is going to be the different source. So you might have things like organic, referral, CPC, or paid. Um, the, the medium is typically the, the channel that you're running on. And then UTM campaign is going to be the different types of campaigns that you're running. So let's say I have a um, BOGO campaign that I'm running or I'm running different campaign types that are very specific and I want to track that in Google Analytics, if I tag them properly within my URL structure, it's going to allow Google Analytics to report on that in this type of reporting. So you can see right here I have these different sources. If I click on secondary dimension within Google Analytics, I can then click on campaign and it's going to show me those different campaign types that are associated with those sources. Now you're going to notice from my website I don't have any campaign set up because <laughs> over the last seven days I've only have 14 sessions uh, but you're going to have a lot more data in here depending on your business so if you go to secondary dimension and campaign you'll have those campaign types or if you go to campaigns here and go to all you're going to see all the different campaign types that you have set up again I don't have any campaigns for my website at this moment but this is for testing purposes so the tool we use to build UTM parameters is something called URL Builder. Now you do not need this tool specifically to, to build out, but if you are new to tracking and new to UTMs, I would highly recommend this tool. So just Google URL Builder. It'll be the first option here from GA Dev. Go there. Now this form looks a little complicated the first time you hop on it, but I promise it's not that hard. All you have to do is type in your website. So I'm going to type in raceoffville.com. We don't need an ID. The only things we're looking for here are the source, the campaign, and the, I'm sorry, the source, the medium, and the name, the campaign name. Those are the only required fields. So in this example, let's pretend I'm building a Facebook ad, like I said before. The source would be Facebook, the medium would be CPC, and the campaign name would be BOGO. So you can see by me giving Google these tools and saying, here's my website, here's my campaign source, here's my medium, and here's my campaign name, all of a sudden you're going to have a URL that was generated from this tool. And all it does is it adds on everything after this question mark. So the way UTMs work is it'll add on tracking to your URLs by adding a question mark and then everything we have here. So you can see I have UTM source equals Facebook, the campaign source, UTM medium equals CPC, the campaign medium, and then UTM campaign equals BOGO, the campaign name. So by default, you're going to notice that it just adds everything in here. Now, now I could have went here and I could have tested this out all out by myself by going, you know, UTM source equals Facebook and by typing all of that out. That is something you can do down the line when you feel a little bit more comfortable with UTMs. But by default, this tracking here should work well. So now if I copy that URL by clicking this option right here, 
open a new tab and paste that in, my website should work exactly like it always does. Nothing changes on the front end for the UI of the user. Everything happens on the back end here. So you can see that it automatically adds this tracking information. And then I'm gonna show you how to test this information in Google Analytics to ensure that things are working properly. So once you land back on the website and you have the UTM parameters appended to your URL, you're going to go back to Google Analytics and go to something called real-time reporting. And just like the name sounds, it's going to look at real users on your website right away. And you're going to notice that I am on my website right now. And if you go to the traffic sources, because that is kind of what we're sculpting here, if you go to traffic sources, you're going to notice that I have the sources Facebook and the medium is CPC. So you can see that this is the way that Google is going to bucket my traffic based on the way I just set up the UTM parameters. So now by default, we know this is working. Now, I know what you're thinking if you haven't set up UTM parameters before. This is going to be very cumbersome for every single URL you are doing across all of your marketing campaigns. There are ways to automate this and set up different tracking templates in Google Ads or things like email campaigns. So don't worry too much about that, that down the line. This is a beginner level tutorial. So keep that in mind when setting up these UTM parameters. You definitely want to get everything set up in, across the entire funnel for your end game. Now, just for the sake of it, I'm going to showcase how to test, um, how you can test UTM parameters across your campaign types if you don't want to do it for specific campaigns. Every once in a while, you get a client website or your website, you think that tracking isn't working properly. So one of the things that you can do is go incognito, type in your website name, and start testing different UTM parameters. So the way you would manually do this is you would type in your domain name, so in my case, raceallville.com, question mark, and then you can begin all of your UTM tagging. So what I'm going to do is do UTM underscore source equals test, because I just want to test this right now. Do UTM medium equals test, and UTM campaign equals test. So again, what I'm telling things here is, as long as I do question mark, everything after that, my website should work as normal. So if I do question mark, UTM source equals test, the next parameter that I'm going to put in there, UTM medium, needs to be separated by the ampersand. If you do not separate it by the ampersand, it's not going to work. Some other things to call out is if you start doing spaces in your URLs, it's not going to work either. Your, your things are going to time out. So you either need to separate that by underscores, slash uh, dashes, or percentage 20. Um, percentage 20 is just the way to tell the search engine to add a space to your UTM. For simplicity's sake, I just typically like to add a dash or an underscore. So keep that in mind when testing. So again, what I'm telling Google Analytics right now from a UTM tracking standpoint is UTM underscore source is test ampersand broken out by the next pieces. So I'm saying, then look at the medium, then look at the campaign. So now if I go to my website, you're going to see my website loads as normal. And what I can do again is I can go back to the real-time reporting. And what should be happening right now is I should have another user on my site. That's me. And if I go back to traffic sources, I should have another thing for test. So now you can see if you come to this website brand new and you want to test to see if Google Analytics is tracking properly, you can throw in different tests and you can even begin to debug things through something called Tag Assistant. That's going to be a more advanced video down the line. If you guys are looking on how to troubleshoot different tracking things on your website, please drop a comment down below and I can show you different use cases for using the test and test showcase with Google Tag Assistant. If that doesn't sound like uh, something you would like, don't worry about it, uh, just make sure to comment down below and let me know if it's something, something that you're looking for. And that's it. As marketers, we need to know how to measure every single point within the funnel and how users are interacting with our website. Things like HubSpot, Salesforce, or any third-party CRM are going to require that you are tracking your traffic so you can send that information over to their platform and you can begin to tie everything together. So this is a really good foundational step to start tracking your traffic to ensure that you know what exactly is happening on your site. So if you have things like HubSpot or things like Salesforce, this is step one to make sure all the foundations are put in place. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing or liking the video. It helps tells me what types of videos that you guys enjoy and I can consider putting out more of that type of content. So if you enjoyed it, definitely let me know. I do have a Discord link as well. That'll be down below in the description if you'd like to join our community. We talk about different marketing things within in the Discord, so check out the link down below and you can join us as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.